Today we're going to talk about uploading your own images to Design Space, not just an SVG file, but an actual image. So a JPEG or a PNG, the JPG or PNG files. Um, I'm going to show you a couple files and we're going to talk about the difference between them and then um, we'll walk through the process. So here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on these. I've got this bike image that I drew a long time ago and I've got it in both formats. JPEG and ping and then I've got these stamp sets that are um, they're digital stamp sets and they're going to be formatted so that they're easier to upload into design space okay so I've got it in the PNG format and the JPEG format again okay so the first thing we're gonna do is open up our Cricut design space and tell it new project and then once you're in this window you're gonna go over to upload and you're going to tell it to upload an image okay and I'm going to start with the JPEG so I'm going to browse to that really fast um, okay I'm going to start with this bike JPEG and I'm going to click on it and then click open and you'll see that it brings in the image and then it gives me the option to make it simple because it's got high contrast colors and transparent or monochrome background which it pretty much does Moderately complex, it would have lots of colors and detail, but there's good contrast. And then complex would be like, it's already colored, it's got a funky background. And so for this image, we could probably just choose um, simple because it is fairly simple. You could go moderately complex just so it get some of those um, like curves and details in there. I'm just gonna choose it because it's a happy medium. Okay, and then I'm gonna do continue. And now you'll see that it kind of grayed out everything and it's asking me if I want to erase parts of it. And mostly I just want to erase the background or the parts that I want, um, one, I don't want to print, and two, I, I don't want to cut. So I just clicked on this background right here. It's on this magic tool right here, the select and erase, and it's gonna automatically um, erase everything that's connected there. So it's gonna go inside these places. As long as it's got a continuous flow, it'll erase that. So I'm going to zoom out just a little so we can see the image a little bit better. Uh, maybe right there. And now I'm going to click on this again just so you can see what all it's erasing. So it takes this entire background away from the bike, which is good. Then I just need to click in here and here and here and probably there. You wouldn't want it to cut inside this wheel just because the, all these lines are way too thin. And so it'll end up just tearing your paper. So it has to be a rather um, larger space for it to cut inside of. Okay, so now that bike is clean and it's ready to go. So from here I would click continue and it's gonna show me this um, in two different formats. It's gonna say, do you want us to make this a print and then cut image or do you want it to just be a cut image and cut around the silhouette of this, of this image? Um, so this is, you get to decide here, but usually what you're gonna be doing is printing it and then cutting it. So I would say save as a print and then cut. Um, the other thing is if you save it this way, you can turn the print part off later. I say that, but then maybe I'll forget. Um, we'll go check. Okay, so it's saving. It's gonna take it a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this and go back out and we're gonna upload a different image so that we can see how that process works. Okay, so we're gonna tell it upload. Oh, and actually it finished while I canceled. Okay, I'm gonna browse and this time I'm gonna do the PNG format of this image. And you'll see it already has the whole background and all the spaces that you wanna cut out and you'll notice that it's actually gonna cut inside this tire, which isn't what we want. So I'm gonna tell it moderately complex again just so everything's the same for all of our experiments. But now when you look at this image, because it's a PNG file, it's going to cut every single one of these black lines. Let's just tell it continue and see what our cut file looks like. See how it's, it doesn't have any of those white spaces inside the tire or the seat or anything. It's going to cut along all of these lines and actually cut the bike out, but it's going to be a mess on your, on your paper. So this PNG file does not work for us at all. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one. And now we're going to go back and look at the ones that are designed specifically to print and cut with your Cricut at, so, as a stamp so that it looks like 
those um, photopolymer stamps or um, a rubber stamp, but you don't have to go through the process of inking. You can just print it with your printer. Okay, let's do the JPEG first. So that's what we did with the other one. And you'll notice it's the same idea. You've got the little drawings or designs and the white background. We're gonna click moderately complex and then continue. We're gonna just keep all that the same each time. And now I'm gonna zoom out so that you can see the whole image. Okay, so I'm going to click, make sure that this magic wand is selected and then I'm just gonna click here on the background. And you'll see that it erases the background and it actually, let's zoom in a little, it actually stops at this line that's drawn here so that you get a little bit of white space around each of your images when they cut. And this just helps so that when you send it through the cut machine, if you haven't calibrated your machine properly, it um, won't cut into your image. And so then you might have to do a little fussy cutting to make it look like perfect if that's how you want it. But otherwise, these are going to cut really well. This line is super light when it prints, and so it's almost just going to look kind of like the edge of that um, stamp is kind of embossed. And if you look at a few of my blog posts where I've used this stamp, you'll see that um, because I hadn't calibrated my machine. So um, one of the drawbacks is inside pieces like this still need to be cleaned up. So you'd still have to click inside there to clean those pieces up. Same with this. And I think that's it on this stamp. Um, but that's because we're cleaning up a JPEG image. Okay, so I'm going to click continue. And then it's going to give me the option. Do you want it to be just the cut file? Or do you want it to be this print and cut file? If it's just the cut file, it's just going to cut the silhouette of each of these images. And you can save that and, and do that like individually if you want to, if you just wanted one piece to cut. Um, but most likely you're going to want to save it as a print then cut first. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And I've actually already got it uploaded, but I can go back and clean these up. So I'm going to go back and upload a different image. Let's look at this PNG file now for the cat birthday and just see how easy it comes in, okay? So I'm gonna click open. Oh, it doesn't want to because it was in the middle of something else. So I'm gonna delete this just because I've got so many other options there. I'm gonna upload image, browse, and then I'm gonna click on this PNG file. And you'll notice that the background is already all cleaned up for me, okay? So I'm just gonna throw this in here as moderately complex because that's what we've been doing for all of them and click continue. And then it's gonna ask me, do you wanna delete anything off of this file? And you'll notice that even the little cracks here, like where this kitty cat's bending, are already gone for us. Um, this one isn't, and I can clean that up so it's gone for later. But um, there is nothing to clean up on this file. It is ready to import and then print and cut. So I'm gonna click continue and it's showing me the same thing. So you could use the JPEG format or the ping format, either one works, but there's less to clean up on these stamps that are actually designed to be uploaded to Cricut or Silhouette and print and then cut because I've already done pretty much all the, the cleaning up for you, okay? But if you're finding an image somewhere else that you wanna use inside Design Space, you're probably gonna have some cleaning that you have to do, but then it'll be usable after you've done that cleaning. Just. A, it, instead of fussy cutting, you're going to be fussy cleaning. Okay, and then I just clicked save again, like we did before, and this is going to be saved and ready to use as a project. Um, just another um, quick FYI, let's wait for this to finish. But when you use a project like this or a print and cut file like this, you are limited to the size that you can print and cut. And um, this is coming in a little bit large, which is okay but the size that you have to print and cut, um, you're limited to 6.5 for your width, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna have to do if you're planning on printing this is resize it down to 6.5 and then it's ready. You can go ahead and make it and tell it print and, and it'll tell you, okay, this is a print then cut file. It gives it a bounding box so that it's ready to go um, through your Cricut machine and, and then your machine scans these lines to see where, um, the images are before it starts cutting. The one thing I would recommend is that you go over here to this hamburger menu before you ever do your first print and cut or if you've been messing with your cartridge a lot lately, um, like changing out your blade quite frequently because you've been bumping and moving that cartridge around, you're going to want to come over here and do this calibration right here. And you're going to tell it, I want to calibrate um, for the most accurate cuts for print then cut. So you just click that and then go ahead and go through the process. Um, and it's it walks you through step by step. It's pretty easy. If I get a chance, I'll do another tutorial on that. But do this before you do your first print and cut, just so that you get more accurate lines around your designs when you cut them out.
okay if you have any questions let me know um, send me an email drop a comment um, like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks